Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Let me welcome you back at this uh, channel. Show that you are hitting the subscription button and you are watching on up until to the end of this module. And then here we are going to uh, look into building structural uh, surveying and four. And this is module six. Ensure that you refer back to it. Module six, the key concept, we must understand that A, everything should be at a level point at rest. So we are saying that leveling or the heights of point using the dumpy level or the automatic level. And then you get your two marks for the definition. What is key is that also you understand the use of leveling. Why do you use this rail, roads, canals? See, there must be leveling. And then number two, we are saying set out of elevation construction project as indicated on the plan. That is the second aspect. And then thirdly, we are saying the volume of the earthworks and other materials and is used to investigate the drainage characteristics of some areas. And that it can be for a mega moving on again. We must understand now the leveling equipment. So uh, the leveling equipment number three, the staff bulb number four, the tripod and number six, uh, the tilting level number seven, automatic level and number eight, the tubal tube. Okay. And then uh, if we are moving on again, uh, we have to see that uh, still we are having important aspect of work in relation to this, the telescope focusing. So we need to understand what is this. So we are saying that for the accurate work, what is an accurate work? The work that is uh, correct by all reasonable doubts uh, when observing a target, both across hairs and the reticule and the distant target object must be sharp in focus. So you need a linear line to make this a measuring tape using the telescope focusing. This is done by focusing on uh, the cross hairs first, then uh, the target by bringing the image of the target uh, object into exactly the same plane as the cross has. And then we need to understand that. That is for, for marks. If we are moving on again, we must understand that you can be asked in the examination to list uh, the methods of leveling. Three different types of uh, methods leveling are the differential leveling. Number two, trigonometric leveling. Number four, barometric leveling. So those are the three that we can talk about and then that we can uh, also list. That is uh, here we can be asked the question to say the leveling procedure, first position of the level, what is the first position level of the leveling procedure? The level is set up at P where B, B M may be observed at the A. Readings are taken at point A. Number two, we are saying the first reading is taken with the staff uh, on a point of known reduced level. Number three, the benchmark, uh, the reading is correct uh, as the backside. And the other one, uh, the staff is held at A and B in 10 and recorded as at the intermediate side. So it is not a primary site that you can see, but it is an intermediate or the secondary one. So let us understand that uh, that would require or that would force the change in point uh, it is chosen at C, owing the nature of the ground and the reading is taken and it is recorded as the foresight, all right? And then a leveling procedure on the second position level, we've got to understand that the staff remain at point C at the highest peak. We will see that on pictures uh, on the next module tune on with us. That's why I'm saying subscribe now. And the level is moved at a Q, set up and leveled. The reading on the staff at C, the change point is taken is recorded at BC and the following intermediate site, D, E, and F, and etc., are used at the uh, change point is required. Okay, so those are uh, 
uh, the work uh, that we need to know. This is the work that we need. As we are moving on again, we have to see that uh, we've got the light. What is that? We are saying that this is the instrument for an ideal for the tachometric and the transverse survey, but not for the differentiator survey. That is for two marks. And here is the picture that we are talking about, uh, the ondolite. So this is the ondolite. Let us zoom it. So light to uh, label it. So you'd see that it's labeled. Here is the telescope. Uh, the micro knob is here to change the speed and uh, to change the density. The telescope focusing on the knob is here. We've got the inter knob downwards here. We've got the plate level, which it can be uh, in this region. Then we are having the horizontal cycle school. And there is it. And then we've got the circular bubble, the vertical uh, circle uh, school the uh, cycle reading eyepiece, the telescope eyepiece, the telescope vertical clamp, that is it here. So all these labeling, you need to know them by heart. And then we've got the emulating mirror is here. And then we've got the vertical cycle, this side. So you need to know and to label it very well without any failure. Uh, we must understand that there is an important uh, work that we need to consider. And then we can talk about now uh, the last aspect of the core elimination error that can occur. So it occurs when the core elimination line is not uh, truly horizontal, when it is possible to determine the core elimination error and reduce its size using the two pegs test. Once again, eh? Uh, these peg text uh, that we are talking about. And then let us understand that we can talk now about the hand signals. So we are saying this determines the distance between the person operating the level instrument and the person holding the stuff is sometimes huge. With one person being far away from the other, the best way of communication is to use the hand signals. So we can see that uh, we are counting that is migrating and we have accepted the norm and standard of uh, other side languages, which may include sign languages, which is good for the count. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you are well and tune on for more lesson at Madrid Plus Needed Specialist. Thank you very much.